Security. What is up, everybody? It is your bud, Homage, or your little YouTube sniper commentator montage maker. I'm talking weird tone right now, but um, this is a gameplay, ballistic gameplay on raid. I know I have a lot, but god damn, I go ham on raid. I'll, I'm gonna, I have a lot more. I have an awesome one on carrier with Logan screaming. Oh, funniest thing ever. Um, I have another one on Yemen where I go ham, like 61 and 5. I'm sure you guys will want to see those. Just gotta tell me what to talk about. But for this one, I'm sorry if you hear my dogs running around. Morning advance, I don't know what they're doing. But uh, I'm, I'm gonna talk to you guys on how I got in phase. And it's kind of a, it's kind of a funny story. Um, so, right when Mono for 3 came out, I really started posting. And uh, my first episode was done in five days. It was really, it was really good. It was the best episode of Modern for Three at the time, like when it came out, like out of all. And uh, I was in the Optic Team Taj, and I really put, I really uh, showed myself in that Team Taj. And I actually had Seabass message me saying, "You killed that Optic Team Taj," and. Uh, you know, so I guess he really liked it. He watched it, and uh, over time, he kind of always messaged me. He was always like, "Face homage, face homage," and um, it was kind of, it was kind of weird because I, I realized that I always had that option to go to phase, and it took me about four months, I guess. Um, it was about a week after Monfort Three came out. He always messaged me like random times, and uh, I joined. You know, about March 7th, that's when my first video went up, so I guess that's when I joined. And uh, the reason it took me so long, the reason it took me so long was because, um, you know, I had a lot of friends in Optic. Like, I mean, I still do. And that was the reason I started. And I'm always one of those people that, like, looks out to what people have done for me. And I didn't want to leave because Marcus did a lot for me, or Apostle. He gave me that one opportunity, and I really didn't want to leave. So. That's what held me back, and I had uh, Jewel and the Greedo and Raiden help me out. And they told me, you know, they wanted the best for me, they wanted me to join, they wanted me to grow. And I thanked them a lot for that. If it wasn't for them, I did. probably wouldn't have joined. But, uh, um, I guess what Seabass really liked, I don't know, he's never really told me why he recruited me. But, uh, I, I don't want to ask him. I don't know. I'm just going off what I guess, but uh, over that time of me being an optic in those months, I really pushed out episodes. I really stayed active on my channel. Um, I um, I really uploaded a lot, and they were all up to standard. They were all kind of unique, I guess. With the C4 shots, I guess that was unique. But uh, I kept up with the standards. I was getting a lot of clips. I was pumping out episodes consistently. I was always active on my channel. And I guess he's seen that, and then he got recognized, and I, um, <clears throat> and he, he kept trying to ask me, like, face homage, face homage, and I was like, eh, I don't know. And then, you know, I didn't want to say no, because that's throwing away a huge opportunity, or a huge option, or a huge second doorway. And you definitely don't want to do that. You want to keep all your doors open, if, like, you want to get somewhere. You always want to keep your options open, you always want to keep your, your, um, <clears throat> your uh, connections. Connections are huge. And I had connections to Cross. Big thank you to him. Um, to Apex and Style, because those guys, and Heist, those guys helped me get in. They were always like, yo. And then Seabass would always be on Skype. Because I had him on Skype. And uh, yeah, so I joined. Um, so, let me just sum it up. To really show yourself you want to be uh, <clears throat> you, you kind of want to pose a threat to phase you know what I mean. um, by posing a threat I mean you want to you want it to make it so they want you and they would rather have you on their team than other teams because that kind of that's kind of what a threat is right if you're not a threat then I guess they won't really want you and by a threat that means like they could be doing you could be doing better than some of the members on phase and you really got to show that. And that's, I guess that's what I did. Uh, I kind of made myself seem like I was a threat to phase. You know, like, I could be, like I was, you know, I could show I was meant to be on phase. I guess. Um, 
for it and I posted a lot. That's what I did. I wanted to show I was always inconsistent and everything. And ever since I joined FaZe, I put out over 22 episodes and a few montages. So that's pretty good. So I'm pretty sure I went through all of it. Um, that's how I got in FaZe, guys. <clears throat> Hopefully you guys get to where you want. Hopefully that helped. Put uh, a little bit more detail out there on how I actually did join. And I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. It was pretty kick-ass. I started the match off with 13 kills and ended off with 60... 61 or 69 some gay number like that, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys later. Thanks